if one's joined. Today I'm going to be talking about the books that I've read in April and May. So in case you, could, you couldn't tell, I was in a rain slump in the last couple of months, but I've read only like three books in April and only two books ma last month. It's just I've been very busy and I've just been in a rain slump for that reason and plus I was slowly trying to get out of the rain slump so I'm just not going to put a lot of pressure on myself. So um, thankfully I've read five books the last two months so yeah I'm going to talk about the books that I've read the last couple of months. So yeah let's get the books that I've read the last couple of months. So the first book that I've read in April is Death by Tea by um, Alex Erickson. This is the second book in a bookstore cafe mystery series. If you haven't read the first book, um, Death by Coffee, it's about a woman who wants to open a coffee shop and then one of her customers end up um, dead after ordering a cup of coffees. So that, and then she was the main suspect and of course she was trying to prove that she wasn't um, the murderer so that was basically the premise of the first book and I just really and, I, and of course it's obviously the second book is by T so like each um, book of the series is uh, like a pun based on a drink and I really enjoy this one I felt bad for her character our main character yet again because of course she was blamed again but of course it was uh, different in this book but I just really enjoy this I just Still really like the characters. I still really like the story, and yeah, I was surprised that the first book was, um, like was the lowest rate when I first started my TBR game, and I'm just like this isn't as a rated as low as the, like the first book. I think I don't remember, but but yeah, I just really like this cover because of the little kitty cat, which I I forgot his name already, but but yeah, I really. Enjoy this. I still like the characters. I still really like the story. But like I, uh, like like I said, and I gave this book five stars. The next book that I've read in April is oh my gosh, my hair is so tangled uh, right now. Throw Like a Girl by Sarah Henning. This is about a girl who just um, lost a scholarship to softball. I think yeah, she lost her scholarship and then she changed schools and then uh, one of the the quarterback of the, the football team got injured and she volunteered to be the quarterback of the football team. That's from what I remember from Arena anyway. And I really enjoy this. I really like the characters and I really like um, the story. But for some reason I did not like this as much as her fantasy books that she has written. Like uh, the Sea Wish duology and um, I forgot what the series is called. But I know the first book is The Princess Will Save You. And that's and that's series I in really enjoy but with her contemporary I I mean I still enjoy them it's just not as much as her fantasy books so far and I know she wrote another one that I think is about gymnastics if I remember correctly I probably I'm probably wrong so I'll just look that up later but yeah I still enjoy this and I give this uh, four stars and the last book that I've read in April is A Fragile Enchantment by Allison Saft this is about a girl who has powers to control motions and memories from into the fabric I think that's what it is I'm trying to remem remember and and then she was invited to the royal wedding to make a a wedding dress for the bride but then she ends up falling in love with the groom and that's um, all I remember from it I remember enjoying it I know that I found some parts of a little bit slow but I just haven't read um, a rage this was described as a rage a romance which I didn't uh, realize I haven't read a Rage of Romance since like maybe Prime Prejudice if I remember correctly. Yeah, that was like a few years ago. I mean I really enjoyed the, the characters. I really enjoyed the world but like I said some parts were a little slow in my opinion but I still really enjoyed this and yeah I give this uh, four stars. So now to the books that I've read in May. The first book that I've read in May is When You Get a Chance by Emma Lord. This is like basically about a girl who wants to become a Broadway star but her father doesn't want her to but she decides to uh, get a scholarship if I remember correctly she oh uh, gosh I'm trying to remember I am I apologize <laughs> but she wants to search for her birth mom on top of 
on the scholarship to um, uh, for becoming a Broadway actress and 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 Broadway and I really I enjoy this I half listened to audiobook and half uh, reading this physically I really enjoy this I just don't know why with um you have a mash and this I just didn't enjoy it um, as much as um Tweet Cute, which is her debut novel. I just, re I know I really like the characters and I really like the stories and both of them. It's just, for me, I just didn't enjoy as much as Tweet Cute. Tweet Cute is my favorite from Emma Lauren and I do hope her two other books, I probably will enjoy more. But I, like I said, I still really enjoy this. But, but yeah, it's, it was still a four star read for me, which is still a good um, rating for me. And the last book that I've read in May is Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Mouskoko, which is about a girl who just discovered that her sister was murdered and she's trying to figure out who her murder is and the only way to find out who her, her uh, who murdered her sister is to team up with the on uh, the prison of Hal Wrath and that's from why that's all I can remember from the synopsis and I enjoy this book but not as much as Stuck and Jack the Ripper and I mentioned this in the Rain vlog and I'm just I I really don't know why! I apologize! There was like a and or a spider in, in this room and I'm like, yeah, I gotta take care of this before uh, I I got get so scared and I didn't have time to have my husband kill that for me, but yeah, uh, anyways, I still like Carrie Mascalco's writing. I just didn't feel connected to the characters as I did with Stuck and Jack the Ripper. That's why I said, said in a rain vlog that I don't know why, I just I just enjoyed Stocking uh, Stock and Check the Ripper. I, I like the characters from Stock and Check the Ripper more and and the story, but I still really enjoy this story, don't get me wrong. I want to continue on with the series. I do like the characters. I just don't feel as connected as I did with Audrey Rose and Thomas from um, Stock and Check the Ripper series, but, but yeah, I still enjoy this. I want to continue on with the series and I give this uh, four stars. <laughs> So that's all for all the books that I've read in April and May. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and comment down below what books that you've read in the last couple of months because I would like to know. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Also, you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreach, which all links will be down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!